welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time it's another of our twice yearly channel updates, when I let you know what's been going on and what's coming up in the crazy world of explaining computers. Now I've filmed the last of these updates out in the park, and some of you were a bit disappointed I didn't travel there by teleport. And so in this video we're going to make ample use of my retro matter transmitter. Guess what? We've arrived at my desk where I edit the Explaining Computers videos and do other very important work as you can see. Why do I have a 5-4 monitor? This has been asked many times in the past. I have a 5-4 monitor because I like it for writing, but I haven't written a book for several years so why don't I go a 16-9 for video editing? I don't know! It's one of the great mysteries of the universe. Anyway, I thought it would be good to uh, come to my desk to talk about what's been going on with the channel, some of the big stuff, and the most important thing has happened I think since I spoke to you like this in December 2022 is that the channel has passed 900,000 subscribers, and indeed we're now early 930s I think, something like that, maybe a bit more, so it's going, going rather well. So thanks to everybody who's a subscriber to the channel and who remains subscribed, and uh, fingers crossed sometime in the first half of 2024 the channel will get to the million milestone. I hope we get there. You can never count on these things, I don't like to um, presume people will go on subscribing, but it'd be great if they did and we got to the million. It's fantastic to have such a large community here, you know, watching the Explaining Computers YouTube channel and making comments and interacting and all that, that other really good stuff. Before that, and more under my control, in theory, in I think it's early November 2023, we will get to the 500th Explaining Computers episode. I think we're currently on about the early 480s. I keep losing count and looking back and I produce videos in different orders so it gets difficult to count exactly what I'm doing, but I know it's less than 20 to go now before we get to 500 episodes. So I must do something exciting with a 500th episode. I don't quite know what that's going to be. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments section and who knows, I might do one of those things. I'll do many of them for the 500th episode. I might not. We will find out sometime around November. Uh, 2023. Something else that's been going on with this channel since I spoke to you um, a year ago now is channel memberships is now a year old. Channel memberships was launched end of June 2022. It's built up very nicely. There's a community of people who pay their two dollars or two pounds or whatever it is in their currency per month to get access to a weekly message from me with a picture of something or other, and every four weeks an additional Explaining Computers video. They're rather strange, they're more like this video than the normal ones I do most of the time, but uh, they give us something to talk about. And um, it's also about a year now since the Explaining Computers storefront was launched on Amazon.com, where if you buy things through there you don't pay any more, but I get a bit of commission to help run the channel. And I mentioned both channel memberships and the storefront, partly to advertise them of course, they're there if you wish to, to participate, but also to make it clear that the people who support the channel through channel memberships and through purchasing via the Amazon storefront are actually very much helping me to keep the videos the way I want them to be. As you will know if you've been watching these updates over, over many years now, I do not want in this channel to get to a point where I go, oh, and now a message from our sponsor. Oh, I'm now going to read a script for a minute about something that I've got no interest in whatsoever, but they're paying me money to read it, so we'll do it. I don't want to do that, and I don't want to be speaking, and halfway through a sentence it suddenly goes, hey, do you want to buy toilet cleaner or something, with a, with a mid-roll advert. This channel does not have sponsored content, sponsored segments popping up, or anything else sponsored to come to that, and it doesn't have mid-roll adverts. And the reason I've been able to maintain that here on YouTube is because of channel memberships and the, the Amazon storefront. They allow me to keep the channel videos free of interruption, and I think that's very important. So thanks to channel members and people who use the storefront for allowing, for allowing that to happen. 
So those are the broad things going on. So I think we should now move towards more specific content. And I think we'll do that in another location. But the question, of course, is should we now go to the park or should we go to the moon? Greetings, and here I am on the moon. And if you don't believe I'm really on the moon, I can prove it if I do this. Yes, that was exciting. Let's try that again. I have to be on the moon because I'm experiencing reduced gravity here. Very exciting. Anyway, back in the world of explaining computers, the past six or seven months have been pretty good for the channel. Views have been going up. And if you've been watching these update videos for a few years now, you'll know that generally I've been saying that views have been well going down. So it's good to see them going up. And it does look like at the moment, crossing my fingers, that 2023 will be the first year in a few years where the channel gets more views than the previous year. Obviously, we've got five months to go, but uh, fingers crossed that's going to happen. Now, of course, I do keep an eye on which videos are doing best, what is driving the traffic that has to inform future content, at least to some extent. And the three most successful videos on the channel in the past uh, six or seven months have been the one on installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and also the videos about the $100 mini PC and the renewed, the reconditioned HP Elite Desk 800 small form factor business PC. And both those videos were a bit of a wild card when I made them, particularly when I made the one about the BMAX $100 mini PC. I thought, will anybody watch this? Is this a good idea? It's been the most popular video on the channel so far in 2023. You never quite know what's going to happen with YouTube and the algorithm and, and that type of stuff. But I guess both of those videos reflected a trend that I've been talking about explicitly on the channel for quite a while now in terms of the increasing diversity of small form factor computers people are using. It's not just single board computers anymore. It is low cost x86 mini hardware, and it's also reconditioned small form factor business hardware. And I will reflect that on the channel. I will go back to more new mini PCs and also reconditioned hardware that's becoming available. This said, there will always be a place here on explaining computers for single board computers. They are a key part of this channel. They always will be. We've had five board reviews in 2023. And generally, I'm going to try and stick now to the lower cost single board computers. Single board computers that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, sometimes many, many hundreds of dollars, I think are a much more niche product now. They've got certain application errors. If you need the GPIO and stuff, you did the size in a robot or something perhaps. But for a lot of enthusiasts and makers, and that's a lot of the audience here, I said that there are now other options. Of the SBCs I've looked at so far this year, two were RISC V, the Mango Pi MQ Pro and the Vision 5 II. And I will be returning to that board as its software continues to develop. And we've also had a 2023 RISC V update. In theory, I won't come back to that till 2024. And I do guess what for 2024 RISC V update, but if things happen in the world of RISC V, I think should be reported here, I'll certainly come back to that. It's an interesting area of development. And without doubt, there'll be at least one more RISC V video this year. Uh, in fact, there'll be at least two. I can think of a special project I've not told you about yet, but there'll be one more I know definitely is coming up, which will be the review of the Cypede Light Chief 4A RISC V single board computer, or technically two board computer, because it's one of these things where our board plugs into a, a baseboard. And in fact, that board's already out in a beta version, but I'm waiting to get the full version because there's a few restrictions on the beta version which might be restrictive to me moving forward with other RISC V content. But that will be coming up fairly soon on the channel. Fingers crossed as soon as it, well, as soon as it gets released. We've also had reviews, as we always do, of uh, Linux distros. And we've had the Vanilla OS, very interesting distro. I'm sure there's a lot more to happen there, and I'll be following that quite closely. And we've also looked at the latest version of Debian, Debian 12 Bookworm. Always good to look at both innovative new distros and then what's going on with the, the, the mainstream distro. I'll continue to make the next content. 
Also in terms of software, the other thing I promised to do in uh, the first half of 2023 when I spoke to you like this last December, was to make some content about Blender, which so many people have asked me to do. So I've made two Blender videos so far, big 35 minute videos initially about the interface and modeling and stuff. Second one about Blender surfacing and rendering animation. They've had fantastic feedback. The first one's done very well. The second one hasn't done very well. I don't quite understand that, but uh, I will ponder on that. I will come back to Blender in some way at some point, but I do have to keep an eye on the views because I have to keep the channel viable. Anyway, this I think is enough to say here on the moon, so let's move on again to another location. So, here we are in the final location for this video. Isn't it helpful to have a brain interface control teleport? Very useful with the hardware that. Anyway, I'm now sitting at the desk where I make the vast majority of explaining computers content. And in fact, I've got a camera up there as well, just so I can show you more of the room. You can see it's a complete tip. I've been doing quite a lot of freelance academic work at the moment, marking exam papers, things like that. And I've therefore been doing video stuff and then just throwing things everywhere and um, telling myself I'll clear up at some point and then coming back and shooting another video and not clearing up after the previous one, I've got to clear the place up. And in fact, um, I've got to do some mending as well because over here, there are various acoustic tiles have fallen off the acoustic tile board thing. So I've got to improve my acoustics by putting back in place what should be in place. So if you think the sound's been getting worse, it has because I haven't done any maintenance. I must do that. Anyway, as you can probably see in front of me, I've got some components down here very exciting. And what's going on is that over there, I've got my test rig, a system I first put together in uh, November 2012. It initially in its life had a dual core G530 Celeron. And then it gained an AMD A83870K APU. Well, it didn't gain it, it had it in, instead with a new motherboard. And then in December 2012, I kitted it out with various extra bits, front bays and things to make it easier to use making video content. One of the things I worked out quite quickly, well, after about five years actually, after, worked out after about five years running this channel, when it started to become a bigger thing and then eventually went weekly, is that it's good if you're running a computing channel to have separate hardware for the things you do or the things you test out. So you're not constantly ripping apart, risking damaging and taking out of action the computers you use to do things like editing the videos, things like that. So anyway, that system has been used for so much on this channel. So many operating system videos and software videos and bits of hardware stuff, all sorts of things. It was most recently used to run some of the video editors in the recent video editor comparison. I think it ran about eight of them. Some ran on the machine down here. I didn't want to inflict any machine with 14 as I think I actually installed. But the machine over there is becoming unreliable. It often, for example, doesn't boot or hangs and then comes up again or just suddenly cuts out. And it's not an operating system issue. It has new operating systems, so regularly it can't be that. Or maybe it's the fact it had so many operating systems. I don't know, can't be that. And uh, it's not a motherboard battery. I think it's a motherboard issue or something like that. Anyway, it was first put together in, in 2012 with the current motherboard and processor. It's due more of an upgrade than it's had. And so what I've got here is um, a motherboard, as you can see. I've got um, a Ryzen CPU. Oh, it's great to have one of those, a Ryzen 5. I've got 16 gig of memory and I've got an Evo Plus M.2 SSD. And next week's video is going to be a build when I put these into that PC. I still think it's an upgrade, but I'm sure everyone else will say, no, Chris, it's a build. This is a computer without a case on your desk. All you're using is the case and the power supply. And that is true. And as you probably also noticed, these are not the latest components. I looked at the price of the of most recent Ryzen 7000 and associated motherboard and stuff. And then I realized there were so many Ryzen components and related motherboards out there, which have been made in the past 18 months to two years, still widely on sale and a lot better value, I thought, in terms of doing a build. So next week's build is called something like best value Ryzen PC, because it isn't just about doing a build, it's about working out the components might get the best value for a build. 
at least in my view. And so hopefully that'll be useful to, uh, to you watching the video. So that's coming up. What else is coming up, you cry? I will consult my copious notes on, on my tablet because that's what I always do. Oh good, it's alive, that's a, that's a relief. What else is coming up? Oh yes, it says here, videos that flow from the build. In other words, it's quite likely once, well it's more than likely, it's certain, once I've done that build, there'll be videos I choose to make that sort of link to it. Um, I could have made without doing it, but they'll become more obvious. So for example, lots of you have asked me over the past year or so, how exactly do I set up a dual drive, dual boot, Windows and Linux? I often use that, it's my preferred option these days rather than using the grub menu and getting everything horribly corrupted every now and then. I've never made a video specifically on it. I will do that. That poor system can, can suffer that. Also coming up will be my quantum computing 2023 update. It's a long while since I first made a video on quantum computing, even before the update videos. Must be, must be 10 years ago now. And I know some people are still very skeptical, but whether we like it or not, and I think it is interesting anyway, Quantum computing is part of the computing industry already. Lots of money is spent on it by IBM, Microsoft, Google, Alibaba, many other startup companies with lots and lots of funding. So every year I like to do the quantum computing update. That'll be coming up fairly soon. Also coming up, it says down here, so it must be true, will be some more Raspberry Pi Pico projects. We've had a couple of Pico projects recently. I've enjoyed them. Hopefully you have as well. Views have been okay on the first of them. On the second, I don't know because I'm shooting this video before that goes up. Last week's video, if I'm right in my head about what's going on, was about PyPico projects. And linked to that, I am finally going to do, fairly soon now, a video called something like Introduction to Arduino. I've never looked at an Arduino microcontroller. I really should, so I'll do that. And I might do an ESP32 as well. Other than that, um, oh yes, it says AI. The bane of my life seems to be AI. I spent so much of my life in terms of my consultancy career and, and, and my professional career talking to people about AI for many, many years now. But I've never found a way to make it really work on this channel. I tried the video called Should We Fear AI recently on the basis that that's a question asked by the media it seems every couple of weeks at the moment. The video got great feedback, generated lots of discussion, but not that many views. So I don't know. I've been talking with the channel members about how can I make a more popular AI video. Maybe I'll do something on generative art or AI writing code or something. I don't know, but something like that will, will, will be coming up. Other than that, the only thing it says here is that there's nothing else. I've actually written nothing else to say at the bottom of there. Sit dear me. It's not true, is it? Because I finally want to say thank you for watching the channel, watching the videos, liking, subscribing, being part of the Explaining Computers community. I do find it amazing that after, what, 15 years, something like that, I'm still here doing this and um, people are still watching, which, which is great. And it's, it's nice every Sunday when the videos go up to see the people who are there and watch the videos and the people, of course, who watch across the week after that. And um, Hopefully we will keep doing this for a considerable period of time into the future. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.